Okay, in this video, I want to explore the options that we have for using Microsoft Copilot in the Apple Vision Pro. And whenever we talk about Microsoft Copilot, there's three different Copilots we're gonna look at in this video. There's the one called Microsoft Copilot. This is the personal Copilot. Um, you might have seen the Super Bowl commercial yesterday about this. So this is logging in with your consumer Microsoft account. There's the Microsoft Copilot for work or what used to be called Bing Chat Enterprise. This is where you log in with your corporate credentials and your um, basically your searches, all of your discussion is protected, but it's not part of a licensed software. It's just included with your Microsoft 365 subscription. Then the third kind is Copilot for Microsoft 365. This is the $30 a month SKU that's you know, fairly new. This is Copilot in the M365 chat, in Microsoft Teams, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, all of those. That's the Microsoft 365 Copilot. So those are the three types of Copilots. Then we're going to explore how do we connect to these different types of Copilots and what are our options inside the Apple Vision Pro. Okay, so we're connected to my Mac using screen mirroring. And I'm hoping that this will help out for this video this time. I turned on this little accessibility feature so you can see where my eyes are moving. And whenever I highlight something, you'll see that red dot on it. Hopefully that helps you kind of follow what we're doing. The first thing I wanted to look at is the iOS app for Vision OS. So let's go into the App Store. And in the App Store, if you search for Microsoft Copilot and then go to iPad apps, there's the official Microsoft Copilot application. This is in what we call compatibility mode. So if I open that up, it's going to be in the folder that's called compatible apps. We're going to open up Copilot and then I like to grab it and move it right next to my screen, pull it a little bit closer and have it floating over here to the side. Now I'm logged in with an account that has Microsoft 365 Copilot. But unfortunately, I don't have the work and web tab up here at the top. So I'm only essentially using what would be Bing Chat Enterprise in this example. You can see that it says protected right there. So that's what used to be called Bing Chat Enterprise. Now, the second way that we can get to Copilot is using the web, using Safari. And we can do that with copilot.microsoft.com or office.com. So let's open up Safari right here. And you can see, I'm going to move it up to above my monitor. You can see that right now we're at office.com. And if we go to the Copilot option right here along the side, this is the Microsoft 365 chat, or essentially what you would get in Microsoft Teams. So you see there's no web tab up here. This is my Microsoft 365 Copilot. This is my Bing Chat Enterprise, essentially. So two different experiences. If you want to have them together, then you can go up here to copilot.microsoft.com. And in this experience, you actually get both of them in a single window. So you see it says work and web. If I go to work, this says for Microsoft 365. So this is going to be able to see into my email, my Teams chats, my SharePoints, all of that type of stuff. And I can click the plugins right there to turn on web content. And then I would be able to say, who won the Super Bowl yesterday? And I can send that prompt. And because it's connected to the internet, it is doing a search inside of my environment, it's not gonna find anything because it doesn't know. So then it went out to the web and it's pulling back web results that you know, we won yesterday over the 49ers and overtime victory. So that was as of yesterday, that's certainly coming from the web because it's too new of information. If I wanted to switch away, I could click to web. And then now I'm essentially in, again, that Bing Chat Enterprise, which is the same as what this is. So it depends on what you want to search for, what you want to use. I think the, uh, the work one is probably the more, you know, what people will probably use all day long. The third option is the Microsoft Teams Vision OS app. 
So what I've found is if you're logged into an account, again, this is for people who don't have conditional access for their account turned on. So if you're not using Intune to manage a device and requiring conditional access, then you're able to log into Teams with Microsoft 365. And what I found when I logged in with my Sandbox account is there's M365 chat. So again, this is Microsoft 365 Copilot. If I click on this, I can dictate, I can type with my hands, I can type with a, with a keyboard, or I can dictate who won the Super Bowl yesterday. And then I did that, let me close out my keyboard. So now it's coming back and we'll see what happens here with this. According to the news, Chiefs won the Super Bowl yesterday. So how is that pulling that? If I go down here to references, you'll see it's, it's doing uh, links right here under references. That's because if I click the plus button right here, I have access to all of the plugins in my environment, including web content. So I turned on web content. I'm able to turn on, you know, any of these co-pilots or uh, plugins. I think you can have like three of them available at the same time. But essentially, I've got Microsoft 365 Copilot with web-enabled results right here inside of Microsoft Teams as a chat. The other place in Teams where you can see this is under the dot dot dots. You'll see it says M365 chat. If I open that up, it kind of just opens it in a little floating uh, box right here, but it's kind of attached to this window, so you can't really have it side by side with another chat, at least from what I've found. The other thing is, this is not the new Copilot app inside of Microsoft Teams. It's the older one called M365 chat. So you don't have um, the new topic button and you don't have the uh, chat history in here. So if I were to go in here, delete all this, say new chat, then that is the way that you would start a new conversation, kind of reset the topic to something else. So hopefully Microsoft updates this soon and we get the actual one that's called Copilot that has the history. I think this would probably be one of the more ideal ways to use this in Vision Pro. So these are three different options that we have for using Microsoft Copilot inside of Vision OS. I think um, what I like to do the most is I like to have the iOS app right over here next to the side. I like how skinny I can get it and just kind of have it almost like, like a a wing off of my Mac remote desktop. So if I click on that, I do like to have it talk to me as well. So I can say whatever I want to it. It's dictating my voice right now. And if I stop talking for a second, it's going to submit that and then it's gonna start talking back to me. So that's an example of what that looks like, uh, where I can just, I can swing over, start talking to it, swing back, keep working, do whatever I need to do. Um, probably the most functional one is using copilot.microsoft.com in a Safari window. If I take this and kind of move it over here out of the way, let's grab this one and see like how small can I make it. The challenge is like I can't quite make it you know, as nice and skinny as the other one was, but I can still use dictation. I just would use the built-in dictation. This is the built-in dictation in uh, Vision OS, and it, it seems to do okay. It kind of messed up a word right there, but you kind of get the gist of what it's able to do. I'm able to do, what, 4,000 characters in a single prompt, which is pretty good, and I can ask about new up-to-date live info because it has the web plugin enabled. So this has the most functionality of the Copilot experience right now. Just a Safari browser to Microsoft dot, or copilot.microsoft.com. So I do have to click a button to actually submit it, but that's the only difference. And I think I probably did like 
<laughs> way too much stuff. So it's going to wonder what the heck I'm talking about. So that's using Microsoft Copilot three different ways in the Apple Vision Pro on Vision OS. You've got the iOS app, the Teams app, and Safari. Um, I'm interested to know what your favorite is, what, uh, what pros and cons you see out of each of these different options. And as Microsoft enhances this experience, maybe they'll bring a native Vision OS or an optimized Vision OS app. As soon as that type of thing comes out, be sure to subscribe to this channel because I'll be talking about it. Thanks for watching.